Hi, my name is Mark Gatter from tunnelvisionltd.co.uk, and thank you for checking out these videos on Adobe InDesign CC, the best layout program ever. If you like the video, then please do check out my website, tunnelvisionltd.co.uk or .com, and on the homepage you'll find a link to the complete course list either on Udemy or Skillshare. I, of course, invite you to sign up. And if you like the course, please tell me. And if you've got a question, please contact me and tell me. I will respond. If you've got an idea about something else that you'd like to see a video about, and you tell me and I make a video, I will send you a free coupon to my videos on Udemy or Skillshare. So please check it out. What have you got to lose? When you put an image into InDesign, it's up to you whether you want to link the image to the document or whether you want to embed it. Now, it's pretty simple. If you link it, there's a reference to it in the document, but the image isn't actually included in the document. It's somewhere else on your hard drive. And if you printed it or you made a PDF, at the relevant point, the program would go get the image and make sure it was put into whatever you're doing. But if you sent that file to somebody else and you didn't send the images when they opened it, they wouldn't have the images. The image would appear there, probably, but there'd be a red circle with a question mark up in the top left corner, and if they clicked on the links window, that would tell them that the image was missing. And what you've got instead is a 72 DPI screenshot in RGB color, which is not really good enough for almost everything. However, if you embed the image and the copy on the right is embedded, then however big that image is in terms of file size, you just enlarged your InDesign document by that much. So it's a 10 megabyte image. Your document just got 10 megabytes bigger. I'm going to select the image here on the left and then go to the links window. And that's it. And there's no icon here, which means this is linked. And down below it says status is OK. It also says it's RGB color, which is a no-no, but I'm not printing this, so I don't care. Status is OK. And if the image was modified in Photoshop, perhaps, and then saved in Photoshop, I would get a little yellow triangle up here saying that the image had been modified. I'd also get a little yellow triangle up here on the top of the image. And if I double-clicked on it, that would update the image to its new modified state. This one, however, is embedded. I can't open it in Photoshop and edit it and then save it and have that reflected in any way in what's here on the page. However, if I click on the Options button in the top right corner, I could choose to unembed the link. So you can link it, you can embed it, and then if you want you can turn it back into a linked image. This one, my only option, is to embed it. As to which one is better, they both work perfectly well. If it's linked and the links window is happy that that link is valid, you're not going to have any problems. If it's embedded, you're not going to have any problems, but you might have a much bigger InDesign file. So it's really up to you. The bigger your file becomes, the more unstable it possibly becomes, the more likely it is to have a problem. My personal preference is wherever I can, I link things. But if I need to send something to somebody else, I may embed them. So thanks again for stopping by, and I hope that video was really helpful to you. And please do check out my website, www.tunnelvisionltd.co.uk, and let me know what you thought. Bye for now.